Hey there, baseball fans. I'm Ben, and today I'm opening a packs of 1991 score Major League Baseball cards. I got primarily Series 1, but I've got two purple packs of Series 2 right here. I've got high hopes for these packs to pull out, let's just say, maybe a Mickey Mantle autograph. Chances are high, I'm sure. But let's see what we got here. These are the fourth year, I think, of score. I think this is the first year that they split them into series. It's a monster of a set in terms of volume and size. Lots of subsets, color coding all around. And they, oh, there's a Mark McGuire. Look at that. And they have a little tiny print for us to read all about Mark McGuire on the back of these things. So a good set. And they had the World Series trivia this year with the lenticular insert. And what we've got in terms of actual insert inserts, um, there's the Mickey Mantle subset or insert set, and then really rare is the Mickey Mantle autograph within there. So we'll see if we can find anything like that. There's a Paul Molitor. I feel like I don't see very many cards of him making plays in the field. Mostly they're him hitting or him just posing. Maybe I'm wrong on that, but that's a good shot of him doing something in the field. Let's see what's Mike's got thrown there. Hmm. Curveball, probably. Maybe I'm wrong. Look at that. Ken Griffey Jr. I love these caricature all-stars. Really brings some fun to it. So there's a Ken Griffey Jr. We'll put aside there. Very nice. Fred McGriff, the Master Blaster. Benito Santiago, the Rifleman. I love these subsets in these score. I know it made the set huge, but it um, makes it super fun for collectors. Just find all the variations cards of their favorite players. Speaking of which, my favorite players, Sean Dunstan, Ryan Sandberg, Mark Grace, and Nolan Ryan. So I'll be looking for those, as well as some of these stars or interesting players as we go. There's Tuffy Rhodes. We learned about, had a great career in Japan after kind of a less than stellar career in the major leagues here. What's the grip on Ramon Martinez there? Hmm. Not sure what that is, but that's definitely a, going to be something other than a fastball for sure. There's Jack Morris with his big old mustache looking good. And I love that shot of Otterby McDowell, or Otterby, depending on who you are. All right, here comes Series 2. It's not that Series 2 is actually special. It's just that I have a ton of Series 1 packs and only these two Series 2. Not sure how I ended up with two Series 2 packs, but... That's where we are. So our chances are amazing to pull something great out of here. Danny Tartable. Norm Charlton. Actually, here's a dream team coming up. We got Doug Jones. So listen, D Doug Jones' dream team is not that cool, except for the fact that it's an awesome picture, right? I mean, it really is super cool. Great job upping the photography game. I mean, score probably doesn't, it doesn't hold much value. It gets a lot of crap because it's not a premium set. But they really did a great job. I'm going to put that aside and see what Doug Jones is up to now. Oh, look, there's a Frank Thomas. Very nice Frank Thomas card. Ken Griffey Sr. Dennis Lamp. Jose Uribe. So um, we'll find out whatever happened to Doug, Doug Jones. But, so it wasn't a, a stellar pack, but that... Uh, series 2 did, did give me that Doug Jones that was interesting with that photography and Frank Thomas, which is a good card. So I'm going to call that a win. There's Paul Muller again, followed by Mike Scott again. Oh, there's the Jose Canseco Dream Team. Famous card for that shirtless picture. So 13 Dream Team cards that year. And then you get all these rookie prospects. They had a lot of rookie prospects like Jim Vatcher and people that you never heard from again. And then when you stack them up, you get a nice, a nice cornucopia of color, which I like. You can see there a little bit. There's Bo Jackson. Looking good. Roberto Alomar, which I'm not going to pull out, but he's an all, he is a Hall of Famer. 
Rondell White. I forget. What ever happened to that guy? I'm going to put him aside just for now. Cecil Fielder. Good shot of him. Barry Bonds. Looking like a normal human there. Before we got all pumped up. All right. What say you baseball pack people? Give me some fancy insert here. Ready, go. Now, when I was a kid, I did obtain a, a wax box. <laughs> we get another. Okay, Paul Molitor. Were you taking bets that Mike Scott's the next card? Boom. How about that for randomness? Um, when I was a kid, I did get a box of these that I opened up. There's the Jose Canseco All-Star. And I did pull one of those Mickey Mantle inserts out. I was super stoked about it and kept it for years and years and years. I don't think it was actually worth much of anything. There's a Kirby Puckett. Nice one. Um, but I was super excited that because I had never seen any of my friends who had them. And obviously before internet days, it seemed much rarer than it actually was because you didn't, uh, see, if you didn't see anybody else having it, then you thought, oh, this must be super rare. I wonder if Dan Pasqua like looks back at this and says, man, I look like I'm not in shape at all for this photo shoot. <laughs> Maybe it's the uniform. But he did not look like a premier athlete. All right, here it is. The second purple pack. Giving it some good mojo. Come on, you can do it. Find something brilliant. Surhoff. Looks like we got a dream team in here, which is good. Ooh, it's the nearly naked Ricky Henderson. Really a good shot of him there. Super focused. It's, kind of, it's hard to overstate just how awesome he was when he was in his prime. And, he, and for, for years, too. There's the Dark Drabeck Cy Young Award winner. Wally joined it. I love these franchise cards, too. So again, with these subsets, they did such a good job. There's Barry Bonds. There's MVP. Sandy Alamo Jr., Rookie of the Year. Dwight Gooden. K-Man. No hit, oh, no hit, Randy Johnson. Melito Perez, no hit. Travis Fryman, which would have been good back in the day. So, I mean, honestly, that was a good pack. I am not disappointed with that Series 2 pack, even if it wasn't uh, some fancy insert. A lot of good subsets in there. And our last pack for the session. An upside down, Fred McGriff. Al Newman taking to the skies on a double play there. Mark McGuire again. Eric Davis before he heads off to the Dodgers. All right, so good set, good uh, good time there. And look at this. Contemplating. Doug Jones contemplating the, the ball there. Let's take a look and see what happened to Doug Jones. Doug Jones is a pretty common name. I'm sure Wikipedia, he's a politician, he's an actor. He's an international arbitrator, and he's a baseball player. Oh, he's, there's a curler, too. So, Douglas Reed Jones, 16 years. He played for the, in the bigs. Fantastic mustache. Started in 82, finished in 2000. Uh, losing record, 69 and 79. ERA of 330, not great. 909 strikeouts, not great. 303 saves, that's, that's good. Played for a lot of teams, but a five-time All-Star. <laughs> Wait, so this is his career. They have a paragraph about how he was selected by the Brewers and then through an immaculate inning in 97, striking out Johnny Damon, Scott Cooper, and Rod Myers with the Royals, and then he announced his retirement. So that's the shortest synopsis of his career ever. 12th in Major League History on saves. Change-up specialist, keeping hitters off balance. Extremely slow pitches. I love that. Two-seam fastball that topped out in the low to mid-80s. And a knuckle curve. That's a, I love it. I love it. All-star team. Oldest player in the majors in 2000, age 43. Coached a little bit. Pitching coach for the Boise Hawks. And that's really it. So nothing about his personal life. Just that he was kind of a... It's re actually really funny that they would choose to put this picture of him holding a baseball on fire here when he wasn't a fast pitcher. 
Like, have Nolan Ryan hold that. That makes sense. Doug Jones, maybe not so much, but I love it all the more. Doug Jones, I hope you're well. I hope you're happy. Hats off to you and the rest of you. We'll see you next time.